All right, guys, welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Got a bit, bit of a love for short court strokes, if I do say so myself. So I had to go with this bad boy the other day and I was overwhelmingly impressed with it. So I thought to myself, what could I get next? I was going to get a Traxxas Slash, but in my opinion, they're a bit overpriced for what you get. So we've gone for the next best thing and that is the Armour Sentin. So yeah, there we go, boys. Looks pretty impressive on the box. I wanted the blue, but unfortunately, the blue wasn't in stock, so we have gone for the next best colour in the Al colour spectrum. In Liverpool, you're either a blue or a red. And we have gone for the red. <laughs> yeah, boys. Best part of buying a new RC is when you get to see that body shell for the first time in all its glory. Yeah, boys, lovely looking RC, isn't it? Nice, deep, kind of like wine red, blood red. So, yeah, gets been around for a bit of a while, this RC, so it's stood the test of time. So we'll have a look under the hood. And there we go, simple but effective design. So we'll be cutting that connection off, putting an XT90 on it. I'll be probably changing the servo over. We'll see what kind of servo speed we get. So I'll be changing the servo over and I'll get that um, keep it clean, dusty motors cover on it. Where I run, there's a lot of gravel, so we don't want any gravel getting stuck in this drive shaft because with the drive shaft being plastic, it's just going to eat it up. So get all them changes done. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut that connection off and put an XT90 on. So I'll do that next. Goodbye, Horizon Warranty. You've saved me well. And there you go guys, she's all done. I didn't bother up upgrading the servo because a 20 kilogram servo in this seems a bit overkill. But yeah, it's fast enough. Don't forget when you put a new, anytime you put a new receiver in to reset your endpoints by pressing that set button and going through the process. But yeah. Plenty quick boys. And there we go guys, a brother by a different mother. So comparing it to the FTX Apache, can you tell which one's a hundred pound more expensive? It's hard to tell the difference. At least we'll have something to compare it to. So now I'm just gonna put this dusty dusty motors cover on. No instructions, so oh no no instructions, I don't think. Get a couple of stickers. 10% off coupon, 5% off coupon. So yeah, boys, we'll get it tight fitted. And all should be good in the hood. And that, boys, is absolutely awesome. Awesome fit. Wasn't quite sure how it goes around the front here, but the, um, the only feasible way seems to just be there. When you're putting the Velcro on the sides here, make sure you go under, under your battery strap, obviously. Don't go over because when you move your bat take your batteries in and out, it's just going to rip this off. So get your battery strap up there first. But yeah, it fits like a glove. I didn't think a piece of cloth could be such an effective, well positioned piece of material. That is absolutely awesome. So it's just a case of. And there you go, she opens up. So good stuff. I'm happy with that, boys. These tyres feel very soft. There's going to be loads of grip from them. But I've heard on the RLM interweb that scenting tyres don't last to, like to last very long. Well, we won't be running on tarmac, but yeah, they are incredibly soft. So there we go, guys. That is the Armour Sentin. Lovely looking RC. Little budget RC. I mean, is it worth the £100? difference between that and the apache the only thing to do is take it out and see what it's about but first to the glory shots
boys. Look for a basking in all her glory. Little show cause truck armor. See what she's all about. Oh boys got plenty of punch. That noise that you only get from short course trucks as all the insides are getting pebble dashed. Oh boys. I don't think this is built for I don't think this is built for stone. A bit too much traction. We'll get it on the grass. Still got wow boys, that is that is quick. Look at the speed of that bad boy, Jesus. I knew these ascensions were quick, but holy crap. Considering that's 3S, that is mind blowing. Wow. You get a lot of RC for quite a chunky, a chunky bit of change. Definitely a style, you've got to learn how to drive it. Back off the power when you're turning and all that, just to keep it on its wheels. Whoa, boys. Whoa, parachuting. That is stupidly quick. Wow. We'll have to get this on the sand at Formby Beach, I think. Don't want to destroy that body, though. Jesus, man. This is crazy for free us. Whoa! Can't get full beans out of it. Front end just lifts up. I bet this will be pretty pokey on to us. Yeah, boys. Meow. Yeah, so got the Mojave coming today, so we'll have to see how that performs. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of a beast as well. Yeah, can't beat a bit of a um, short course truckage in your life. I didn't realise this these were so quick. I just thought free S, uh, it's gonna be alright, but wow. Get it on the gravel, get some action shots. Here we go boys, that is the Armour Sentin 3S BLX, absolutely rapid, rapid little thing, 
and the motor's hot but it's not overly hot it has got that fan on it but yeah awesome bit too much grip but short course trucks they do tend to be a bit of a roly-poly kicky donkey so yeah as always guys thanks very much for tuning in see you in the next one